Hello, my name is Mark Gravaker and uh, I'm sitting in the Fellows Garden at Exeter College, a place where I studied for some years and it's here that I became fascinated in the synoptic problem. The synoptic problem is the study of the similarities and differences between Matthew, Mark and Luke in a bid to work out why they're so similar and yet why they're also so different. And let's just focus for a second on that thing about them being so similar. The synoptic gospels Three Gospels, Matthew, Mark and Luke, you can lay them side by side in a Gospel synopsis book. And when you do that, you see that there are remarkable parallels in the order of passages. But there are also really remarkable, really remarkable parallels in the wording of specific stories and sayings. Sometimes whole sentences, whole paragraphs are identical. And it's not just in things like Jesus's words. It's in things like the way that the narrator tells the story. You think of something like the paralyzed man in Mark chapter 2 and parallels. Jesus says, in order that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on the earth to forgive sins, same sentence breaks off, he says to the paralytic, narrator breaks in, same in Matthew, Mark and Luke. Or you have the passage in Mark 13, paralleled in Matthew, where the narrator says in the middle of the apocalyptic discourse, let the reader understand, presuming that this is something that is being read to people and the narrator shares the same words in Matthew and in Mark. There are countless examples like this, which really show that the synoptic problem has to have a literary solution. Now, sometimes people will say, well, surely if you've got different people writing about the same events, you'll expect lots of similarities as well as the differences. Look at three different police reports of the same incidents and so on. That doesn't wash because you've got verbatim identity, the kind of thing you only get with literary copying. And just to be clear, if you had two students that produced work that was as similar as Matthew is to Mark, Mark is to Luke, Matthew is to Luke, you would actually call them out for plagiarism. That's how close these agreements are. So the synoptic problem is a problem because as soon as you can see these agreements and disagreements, you want to know what the answer is. And it's fascinating to ask about what the answer is because it has historical relevance because we would love to know which of these is the first gospel and whether or not there might be something like a hypothetical source lying behind one or more of the gospels. The synoptic problem, greatest literary enigma of all time and something that I think is capable of a solution.